Now we're going to talk about deflection and the elastic curve, or in other words, how the internal moment can cause deflections of beams. When there is an internal moment, the object will deflect. How much depends on the geometry and material. We can find the deflection by taking the double integral of the internal moment and dividing it by the elasticity and the inertia of the object. We usually represent deflection with the Greek letter nu, which looks like a V. Boundary and continuity conditions are used to find constants of integration. Charts exist that provide the derived equations. You can combine multiple equations from multiple loadings that are being applied simultaneously. So now we're going to do an example problem with this cantilever beam. When we want to find the deflection at the max point, you need to follow all the steps to get to the moment equation. I'm going to go through that right now. First you want to do statics and find the wall reaction. Then you want to make a cut at x length away. Then you want to make an equation off the internal shear. And then you want to integrate the internal shear to get the internal moment, but you cannot forget that constant of integration. So then you have to find a point where you know what the internal moment is, which is at x equals zero. We know that it's equal to negative 17,500 due to that wall reaction. So therefore, our internal moment equation is this. Now that we have our moment equation, we can start solving for the deflection. First, we need to integrate our internal moment equation twice, not forgetting the constant of integration that occurs for each integration. So first we get the theta equation, which is the first integral of the moment equation. And then we get the deflection equation, which is the integral of our theta equation. Now we need to apply all the boundary conditions. First we know that at the beginning there is a boundary condition where there is no deflection nor any slope due to the fixed wall support. Because of this, we can derive that our constants of integrations for both the theta and slope equation and the internal deflection are 0 and 0 respectively. Next we need to add in the elasticity and inertia into the equations which means we need to divide the equations by each and then we get our deflection equation equal to this equation right here. Now all we need to do is find our deflection at the end that is the maximum point and we get the following deflection. 